Did you oh, ever man. interview Willie Nelson? Do you ever interview him? No, I would love to interview Willie Nelson. Man. I love, I don't think I interview people. I think I just talk to them. That's a good point. Yeah, sorry. Do you ever just talk to Willie no, Nelson? No, it's okay. But I mean, people have said that like about I love your interview, and I'm always like, e I mean, kinda, sorta. It's really just a conversation. Well, some people, I think, if you're curious on information from them, yes. then you want to ask them more things like about that they know about that you don't know about. Oh, yeah, for sure. Like if I'm talking to Michio Kaku or you know, a quantum physicist or something like that, I, I ask questions. I'm, yeah. I'm essentially interviewing them. And if especially it's something that I really have no understanding of. Yeah. Yeah, but for the most part, I'm just talking to people. Yeah. Which is like takes a lot of pressure off too, because they're like, "What subject do you want to cover?" I'm like, "I don't know. Let's just talk." Yeah. Like, some people are weirded out by that, you know. Like you and I, it's like so, we know each other so long, we don't have to talk about what we're going to talk about. We just get in here and start rolling. Yeah, it's a little easier too. I think it gets easier too when you've been in here before. Yeah, it's weird when you see people for the first time, and you see them lock up and they're nervous, and I'm, and I'm always just like, "I'm gonna hold your hand. And we're gonna get through this." I'm going to get you 20 minutes in, and you're going to not even know you're here. Have you had people that really locked up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've had people get real nervous, and you see them breathing funny, and they, they can't talk that good because they can't get breath, you know. And But it's it's okay. I always just like, let's just let's calm this thing down. We're, yeah. we're going to be all right. It's pretty normal, I think, some people trying something new. But it's just weird, the, the numbers. That's what weirds people out, the numbers of humans. That, that freaks people out. Like. Can you, you can't it's hard to just be yourself in front of millions of people yeah but you can and you do it i do it we do it yeah you can just be yourself you are the same fucking dude if you and i are going having dinner somewhere or if we're at a comedy club or if we're here the yeah. same dude some people can't do that they they, they have to like put on a, a persona when they're they're talking you know they get weirded out yeah i think sometimes that's interesting like um do you find that when you're doing podcasts? I find, uh, I think sometimes I'm like, which me is kind of showing up more today? I'm at, that might sound a little fucking... Oh, no, I know what you mean by that. But, like, am I, like, a little agitated today? Am I feeling, like, goofy? Am I have you know, kind of what's going on? Like, am I a little curious today? Am I a little, like, uh inquisitive you know just which which part of me is kind of at the surface sometimes at the moment you know i had a revelation the other night that i forgot about i was on mushrooms mm -hmm. and um i closed my eyes and i realized that in certain circumstances when i'm healthy when i'm when everything's going great i have a very specific frequency it's a different frequency and this this weird revelation that i had while i was high told showed me this it was like it was almost like a lesson that i was learning and it was like here's you now you're very healthy you you just i had an iv vitamin drip that day i'd worked out i did the cold plunge did the sauna no conflicts no no problem in my personal life no problem in my business life everything was beautiful and i had this like and i and then it showed me there's times where you don't have that where you're irritable where you're you're tired, where you're sick, where you're hurt. There's all these different mm. frequencies that you have. And it made me realize like you think about your health and you think about like how you feel and whether or not you're present. You think it is just like it's better to just be this way. But you don't realize that you're achieving a certain frequency. I was achieving a certain frequency at, at that moment and I realized like this is attainable and this is what I should strive for. And that I could stay at this frequency. But one of the things that it was telling me is to don't drink. Mm. It was like right when I was there, I was like, don't drink. Because if you're drinking right now, you're going you're gonna to kill this frequency. It's going to dull it. Like you might have less inhibitions, but it will dull this frequency. Wow. It was very interesting. It was like one of them weird mushroom moments. Yeah. Where the mushroom's like, hey, I, this is probably something you should think about. Because yeah. I don't think you think about it this way. You're just indulgent. You know, you do this, you do that. You have a slice of pizza. You yeah. eat a meatball sub. You find what? But what's going on with your your overall energy when you do that? You really want your energy to be at the the best possible state, but you don't think about it that way, right? But we, we yeah, you don't think about it exactly like that way, but we do think about it in ways like like our attitude. Like we have little words we use to describe, mm -hmm. like kind of like elements of it, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. But I wonder in the future if there will be a way that we can measure whatever that frequency is. Like mm. sometimes it feels like we're kind of primitive in the understand in the like the quantifying of 
um, like we take our temperature, you mm-hmm. know, like just in things that we blood pressure. Yeah, in in little things that we use to evaluate us. Sometimes I feel like we're on a plane that feels really old. Sometimes mm. like there should be like another plane yeah. where we start to met. Like, is there a number for what my frequency is today? Because you kind of feel that it's like where you operate at and yeah and there are things you can do to keep like i i, I keep earplugs in now for like the first hour and a half of my day right mm. and it just keeps a lot of excess like noise in the day the first hour and a half yep keeps really? them out i'm able to go through the things that i want to go through at home it's so like, how do you what do you do when you wake up you just put them in i keep them i i i i, I sleep with them in do you yeah you sleep with the earphone earplugs in. yeah i think i've heard everything that you can hear at night <laughs> You know, for yeah. a while I was scared I was going to miss something or if something happened. But I think it's like, dude, I'm not, they're not doing anything new at night that I have, wouldn't have an, I, I wouldn't be able to just imagine is going on. Yeah, I don't think there's a new invention of nighttime activities. Yeah. So I got them in, so I can, and I'll keep them in, man. And I go through like my morning routine and it's like. What is your morning routine? Mm, I pray right when I wake up. Um, Do you have a specific prayer? Yeah. Just the serenity prayer. You know, grant me the serenity. Um, to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, the wisdom to know the difference. Um, and then sometimes I do like a one other prayer and then I read like these couple of pages of like um, that give me like a help me to look at my day from afar. Like, what am I going to do today? Mm-hmm. So that helps me like have a little bit more of a plan for my day. Even if it's not a strict plan, it's like at least I'm looking at my day instead of feeling like my day is just like happening to you. Yes. Mm. And so that those little things like that help me. And then I'll do 10 minute meditation. And then I, I do 10 minutes where I just write uh, just whatever's going on in my head. Mm. And you do that every day. Yep. How long have you been doing that? I've been doing that probably pretty solid for, I would say. I don't know, maybe three months, but I've done pieces of that for probably five years what what started all that out um going get doing sober stuff like you get into that some of that world you know Mm -hmm. but it's but i think also just um like seeing how meditation gives me a little bit detached from myself so then i'm not like just clinging to everything that happens so it doesn't affect me immediately something can happen and there's a little bit of space between me and whatever's happening Mm. and that gives me a chance to look at it or manage a little bit more comfortably yeah that's a problem with getting caught up in the momentum of your day i do, I do find myself in that spot sometimes i don't have that specific a routine as you do but maybe it's a good idea yeah Seems for me like- i need it some people they can operate differently you know i think for me it helps to have a little bit of what's going on 